Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are getting glam on a budget. I'm going to be showing you how to get this look. It's very glam, it's very full coverage, and it's all for under $100. So the grand total of all the products I am using is actually $101, but most of them you can purchase from Ulta. So if you use a Ulta coupon, usually I have the $350 off of $15 then you will definitely be way under $100 if you use those coupons. Yeah, I barely made the cutoff with that one. I just wanted to show you guys that you could get a really glam, very beautiful look without having to spend a lot of money on high-end makeup because I could definitely do this look with my high-end makeup products, but you know, why not just do it with some affordable makeup? Everyone loves a good affordable makeup product and that's what I'm going to be showing you guys today. So before we get into it, don't forget to subscribe down below and let's get into the video. Okay, so I already did my eyebrows because I just like to do them off camera. Um, they just take too long. But what I used was the... L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer and to set those in place I use the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. So next up is foundation and of course I will be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This is definitely one of my favorite budget friendly foundations. It's so good and it is very very affordable. Next for concealer, we have the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This concealer has started to become one of my favorite concealers because it's so affordable and it's so full coverage. So if you want a nice full coverage under eye, then definitely get this concealer. It's like, look how much it's brightening the under eyes. It's crazy. So next we want to set that with powder, so I'm going to go in with my Cody Airspun Translucent Powder. Now I want to bring some life back into my face because I'm very just, there's no definition in my face. I'm going to go in with the Rimmel London Natural Bronzer. And to contour, I'm taking this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. And this is in the shade Dulce de Leche. Contour the cheekbones. Next, I'm going to go in with this Flower Beauty Blush in the shade Peach Primrose. And for highlight, I'm going to go in with this Wet n Wild highlighter in the shade Precious Petals. I'm going with a smaller brush to highlight my nose. Next for eyeshadow, I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Color Icon Eyeshadow Palette. And this is in the color scheme called Rosé in the Air. So I'm going to start off with this transition shade. Next, going to take a little bit of this deeper brown shade and just going to focus that in the outer corner. So for the eyelid shade, I'm going to go in with this golden shade. I'm going to use a little bit of setting spray and we're going to pack this on the lid. So 
So I'm gonna go back in and kind of blend everything together. So to highlight my inner corner, I'm actually gonna go back in with that Wet n Wild highlighter. And I'm going to take this kind of cream shade in the palette and use that to highlight the brow bone. Wow. That is pigmented. And for the lower lash line, taking a little bit of this transition shade. And also taking that deeper brown. So I'm going to create a little bit of a wing with this NYX Matte Liquid Liner. So I'm keeping that kind of on the outer half of the eye. So I'm going to apply these Ardell Demi Wispies off camera and I will be right back. Okay, so lashes are on and the mascara I used was the Essence Volume Stylist Mascara. I think this has it's an 18 hour mascara. Um, believe it or not, I actually really like the Essence mascaras and they're like four bucks each, so. So last we have lips. So I'm first gonna line my lips with this ColourPop lip liner in the shade Oh Snap. For a lipstick, I'm gonna use this Rimmel London lipstick in the shade 42. So last for lip gloss, I'm going to go in with this ColourPop collab with I Love Sarahi, and this is in the shade Atole. So the last most important step is setting spray. So I will be taking the NYX Mattifying Setting Spray. So this is the final look. This is how I get glam on a budget. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I can definitely do a lot more videos like this because I do love drugstore makeup. It is the majority of my makeup because it's affordable, it's good quality, and I mean, why not? I could do the same exact look with high-end makeup, but you know, why not do it with affordable makeup? Of course, I do love to splurge every now and then on high-end makeup but I will always come back to my drugstore makeup because I can always justify the price on this makeup rather than high-end makeup. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!